I'm not the only lawyer in the forum, and there are many sides to the story. Now, some people say it has been adopted, others say it's in draft stage. Now, let's just assume that it's in draft stage according to your own story. It doesn't mean that the governor's forum is susceptible to evolution or revolution, if you prefer. So, which means that if it did not do elections in the past, maybe owing to some other reasons, it could decide that it would do some elections this time around. Do you agree? They copied what they are doing from, as they said, when they went to the United States. They found out what the Conference of Governors in America does is they hold a conference of equals that decides things through consensus. And if you try voting, it will undermine, just like you've said, the opposition instrumental arrangement to force a vote and say another thing. When all the pressmen were driven away, nobody with camera. And somebody then starts to use an amateur thing to video its mate. It shows you lack of respect, lack of regard for the other governors. Nobody amongst them is bigger than the other. It shows a fundamental lack of trust amongst the governors forum or amongst the governors in the governors forum. What we remember in the last elect of the last consensus candidate, or how Governor Amici emerged the very first time, we're told that it was seven governors and seven deputies who finally said this is going to be the chairman of the governor's forum. This time around, we had 35 governors from what we heard, and yet there was controversy. Each side almost as strong as the other side. Do you see that there was, there was actually a fundamental problem from the very beginning? There is a fundamental problem because some people now are trying to use the governor's forum as the APC confessed to do politics, to repeat what was done at the Federal House of Reps. Now, you can see what happens when you try to introduce elections into a conference of equals. When you do that, you can see that Nigerians are suddenly confused by something that don't actually contribute to the well-being of the reasons why right. they are voted into office. I mean, now you're talking about this uh, consensus, agreements preceding this election, but have you also heard people who say the formation of the PDP Governors Forum is also in violation of the PDP Constitution itself? The PDP's Governors Forum, if you ask me, I would say, because from what the APC confessed, they say they had a forum of their governors in Medugri and elsewhere. And since politics is a concentric circle of never-ending conspiracies, when the APC conspires, I don't think anything will stop the PDP from also conspiring, because don't forget, he who conspires last wins. And right now, the PDP seems to be with the edge. Even they, if they did conspire last. If they have the number. They also are right now trying to whip their members into line. The question That's why was, you have whips in a democracy. Mr. Nanuji, the question was, the formation of PDP Governors Forum. Yes is in violation of the PDP Constitution. Do you agree with that? I do not know because the Governor's Forum is not enshrined in the Constitution since it is a social meeting of equals. Right. I do not know if the Constitution... I don't think I've seen Governor's Forum no. in the Nigerian Constitution. PDP Constitution, not Nigeria Constitution. The Nigerian Governor's Forum is it in the Nigerian Constitution? I'm talking about the PDP Constitution. Well, people can because decide the to premise... on any basis even if it's just because it is... A social group. The premise is, they say, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. If the party is violating his own laws, and then you want to whip somebody else in line, they think it's double standards. You whip people but, in line because that is what political parties do. Political right. parties are not churches. They are not, they are not moral organizations. They are groups organized like cults. Their intention is to win power. And they win power by making sure all members follow that straight line. If you go out of it, in the Federal House, in the Senate, you have who is called elected as a whip. You have a majority whip, you have minority whip. What the whips do is they whip members into the position Ch of the party. just quickly before we go to the other yeah, guest you're trying to introduce, is there a problem here? Because, I mean, one would have said that the person who emerged finally is also a member of the PDP. At least no, last well, what has emerged in this is that the PDP has found out that it has, within its rank, Members who have now turned themselves into rogue agents. And those rogue agents, like a virus in a body, is beginning to affect the body of the party. So the party's move to bring discipline. If it does not discipline these people who have now gone rogue, 
they might infect the body of the party and undermine the party's ability in, in, a, in, in, in very clear terms, you're saying that the PDP sees Governor Michi as a rogue agent? Yes, the, the Governor Michi has gone to contest, has gone to pay, play with the opposition in a way other than the way mandated by the party because the right. party brought out Governor Jang as a That's consensus candidate and he now seems to have been sponsored by the opposition. Now, All right, let, what let, would let, you um, do? Abandon the train that brought you to the station. But you, are you a member of the PDP? I am a Nigerian. I do provide public guidance in no, finance no. and... I mean, are you a, regist- are you a card-carrying member? I am not a card-carrying member of the PDP. Okay, let's get you a card-carrying member of this party. And also a legal practitioner, uh, Mr. Harvey Dilsey. He joins us from Port Harcourt. Morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, you have heard uh, Mr. Onanuju's comments on the current development. What do you think of what he said? Hello, Mr. Harvey. You have to turn down the volume of your TV set, if at all it is on, so that it, we don't, it doesn't howl back at us. But can you hear me? I can hear you now. There's no problem on my TV. I can hear you now. Go ahead, then. Yes, good morning, Chamberlain. Hello? You may go ahead. Okay, go ahead and what? What did you say that? Well, Mr. Nanuju here has been speaking on the reasons why uh, they, he doesn't think that uh, uh, he particularly said those who were supporting Governor Mechi first are pulled out. And so uh, he, uh, he says the APC confessed that they conspired with the River State Governor to, in his words, disgrace uh, the president and all sorts of other reasons why he thinks uh, the Giants group is the registered group or the recognized group, or the group that should be recognized as the Nigeria Governors Forum? Okay, the first thing there is that um, we, we have to start from the basics. What is the Nigerian Governors Forum? The Nigerian Governors Forum is not an organ of the PDP, neither is it a public office. It is a private organization of um, Governors elected in Nigeria, and there is nothing that is compulsory that makes that nothing compulsory and requires every governor to be member of that group. It is a private organization. That's the same way that Alcon is a private organization. That is the same way that the Conference of Speakers is a private organization. I do not think that um, the PDP has um, any provisions for nominating persons who want to run for election into bodies of private organizations. And that's a, that exactly should um, inform my view on the, the elections of the Nigerian Government Forum. Well, there's this talk about consensus uh, and agreement. And so, uh, from what he said, that they agreed on something. And so, you can't go to the larger group and disagree with what has been agreed with. And he also cited presidents saying there have never been elections in this forum, and so why don't they just go the way they've been going? And that's why you have this uh, factionalization in the party, I mean, in the NGF, I say, where? Well, the way I see it, the, the agreement, that even had any agreement, the agreement was not an agreement of the governor's forum. It was an agreement of certain governors in the governor's forum. And then from the people that we have seen so far, um, some cancellations and some hand filled portions. It would appear that the, those group of governors agreed to agree on a position, but they have not agreed on a position for the election. Well, you say that it, the NGF is a private body and uh, uh, you know, the PDP should not have been involved in, in the elections of a, or the business or the affairs of a private body. Do you also forget that the members or yeah, the members of this particular body are members of the PDP and the PDP also happens to have majority. On that basis or on that platform, since they were they're using, making use of their political positions to form an association, wouldn't you think that the PDP would also like to leverage on that? Is the PDP allergic to moves that helps it leverage on any platform it can get? Well, the PDP is not to leverage on any platform it can get. But the PDP, the, 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 the PDP, 
ought not to interfere in how members run their private lives or run private liaisons or associations. How would you say the PDP has interfered in this particular instance? 